this. This is my house. This is my house. Here. Uh, but I'm taking his food. Uh, I'm eating the hair. Omar and Mustafa are brothers who fled the Syrian city of Aleppo in the summer of 2019. Like most people living here, they came to the island of Samos via Turkey. When you decided to come to Europe, is this what you expected? Since the European migrant crisis began in 2015, the population of the island's biggest town has doubled due to the new arrivals. Today, there are 7,200 migrants in a hillside camp built to house just 700 people. In the five years since the crisis started, borders across Central and Northern Europe closed, leaving new arrivees trapped here. Greece, a country slowly recovering from near economic collapse, is left to act as Europe's detention centre, and the mood on islands like Samos has become increasingly tense. <laughs> Samos is one of five eastern Greek islands struggling to absorb the influx of people, including refugees from war zones and economic migrants, mostly from West Africa. Yorgos Stantzos is the mayor of East Samos and leads a local council struggling to find a solution to the migrant crisis. Policing the island is now the number one concern for local residents. Even Mayor Stansos struggles to remain calm. The frustration on the islands isn't just aimed at the refugees, migrants and NGOs. Please close the camp. Please, please, close the camp. Hey, hey. Camera, 
Our cameras were snatched away and one was thrown into the sea. Obviously the situation here on Samos is very volatile. People are very frustrated, very angry, uh, as we saw ourselves. Can you talk about how people feel here? Έχουμε μια σημαντική οικονομική ε, ζημιά, μια σημαντική κοινωνική, πολιτιστική, κοινωνική ποικιλοτρόπος ζημιά. Δεν έχουμε δει λοιπόν καμία έμπρακτη βοήθεια. Οι 8.000 που είναι εδώ και οι 40.000 που είναι οι υπόλοιποι στα νησιά, για μας είναι πλέον ένα νούμερο εφιαλτικό για όλους. When the deputy prime minister visited here, uh, he talked about making conditions less attractive for the migrants. Uh, instituting closed camps for them. Do you think that's actually going to help? Κοιτάξτε, αυτός ο σχεδιασμός όπως ανακοινώθηκε τουλάχιστον από τον Πρωθυπουργό της χώρας δεν το έκρυψε από την πρώτη στιγμή, κατεγράφηκε σαν απολύτως θετικό και για μένα και για μας ως Δημοτική Αρχή. Συμπορευτήκαμε, θέλουμε να κλείσει το, το κέντρο αυτό της ντροπή. Και νομίζω ότι τα 24 ώρα τα οποία τρέχουν πίσω μας ε, επαληθεύουν τις χειρότερες ανησυχίες ότι είναι κάτι που ήρθε να παραμείνει και δυστυχώς γιγαντώνεται τα πάντα. Ανησυχώ για τα πάντα. Ανησυχώ για την επόμενη ώρα. Είναι τόσο το πλήθος που την επόμενη μέρα μπορεί να γίνει κάτι κακό. But for Mayor Stansos and his colleagues from the Greek islands, the changes aren't happening fast enough. So they travelled to the capital Athens to demand a meeting with the new migration minister. Εδώ είμαστε στην ίδια πλευρά του τραπεζιού. Το θέμα είναι πώς μπορούμε σε εθνικό επίπεδο να μειώσουμε τις ροές, να αυξήσουμε τις επιστροφές και να μειώσουμε, να μοιράσουμε πιο ισοβαρός το βάρος κρίσης. Δεν μπορούμε να το διεχείσουμε. Αυτό είναι μια πραγματικότητα. Το θέμα μας έχει ξεπεράσει και πρέπει να βρούμε μια λύση που δεν θα κάνει... The new Conservative government promised to deport more than 10,000 migrants from across Greece by the end of this year. To do that, they've pledged to speed up processing the asylum claims of refugees and migrants and to shut down all the island camps, replacing them with secured, closed facilities, meaning people inside won't be free to leave after dark. Others will be sent from the island camps and dispersed across mainland Greece. I understand the pressure the islands are facing. I also come from an island. At this stage, we have the islands setting an unequal burden versus the rest of Greece, but also the rest of Europe. How do the policies of the new Greek government differ from those of the previous government? We have introduced a specific program to create new camps that will have more appropriate living conditions, that will be multifunctional, will allow us to accelerate the asylum process, and will allow us to house those that have applied for international protection in a more humane way. Uh, we expect to complete this project by summer 2020, at which time the old camps which are now well exceeding their capacity, will no longer be needed. Is the policy of dispersing the migrants and refugees to the mainland, are you not just spreading the problem to new areas? The key priority of this government is to reduce the flows, but at the same time we need to make sure that the islands do not carry all the burden of this crisis. They're talking, I think, about closing down this camp and putting everyone in a, in a closed camp, like a detention camp. What do you think about that?